A warm welcome to everyone. I would like to acknowledge the president of the college, the vice president, the board of the college, lecturers, all faculty and staff, and last but not least, families, family friends, and my fellow peers. We are here today not just to end one chapter of our lives, but to begin a new one. In my later years of high school, just like everybody else's experience, the teachers talked about the future and about colleges. For me personally, I did not feel comfortable enough to go straight to the colleges overseas and with the help of my mom, who was a Bermuda College graduate herself, reassured me that going to the Bermuda College would be ideal for me and show me a life that I was not accustomed to while not having to go head first to the challenges of an overseas college. This was definitely the right choice. The lecturers at the Bermuda College did not baby us. They were not hard on us either. They made it so that things were personal and yet tough, just like in the real world. And for these experiences, I am sure that all my fellow graduates and I will agree in thanking them. Obviously, the primary goal of the college in general is academics, but we must not forget the social part of the college as well, since a balance is important. We were able to do many different activities, which in turn molded our minds, and in some cases as well, our bodies. Everyone is unique, and the college embraced this ideal and thought by having events for everyone, not just for a certain sector. Some of us came with our friends from high school, and we met others along our journey at the college. But as we have gone through the time, we can call ourselves not just friends, but family, not just with our peers, but with our lecturers and other college staff around the campus. What are the next steps? That is a question just as diverse and sophisticated as the graduates and college students before me. For some, this will be the end of their academic journey as they move into the workforce. Well, for others, this is just the first step in what one could say is a thousand step journey. Yet we can all agree and attest to the fact that without the college, we would not be where we are today. The college has built us from the ground up, strong, unyielding, and has made us proud to become its alma mater. While in turn, we are surely made the college proud and stand with great pride for all of the accomplishments that we will make in our lives moving forward. As I am sure we are all tired of hearing, but in the last few months, we have seen that the world is an uncertain place. And yet, we have to overcome these challenges. While personally, for me and my fellow hospitality management colleagues, this changes how the game of hospitality is played and where we must come up and adapt with new and changing ways of life. This does not just impact hospitality. This in turn impacts all the fields that the graduates today will be going into, from the sciences and business, all the way to the arts and technology. No longer us being single-minded, but going into the world as it is now with new ideas in which the college has instilled into us to be flexible, adaptive, and resilient. I want to thank all the lecturers, not just in my field, but in all fields, for everything that you have done for us. Teaching the next managers, hospitality workers, doctors, builders, IT professionals, and so many more that will shape the world we live in now for the better. The future is in our hands, and we must mold it with precision and excellence, as we have been taught. Looking at all the fellow graduates, I am very proud to say that the future is bright and brilliant. Once again, thank you to the Bermuda College. I will end with this personal thought. Bermuda College, a little campus with a big heart.